me and me and Keith got released at you know the same day so um it was a lot of just trying to figure out like I've done everything I wanted to in my career like everything I I set a goal for myself I've done it all so do I even want to wrestle anymore just with the toxicity of social media and with what I did the last time like I I I was a joke I was a joke so it was like do I even do I even bother um so Keith immediately we got we got married um we moved like 2 weeks after uh bought a house so it, like a lot of real real life stuff was happening so it was like Keith literally right after the wedding he went to work so I'm like all right let me take a couple months to kind of just like hold down the fort and get together everything with real life first um so he doesn't have to worry about anything and everything will be taken care of at home um so i took a couple months off to also you know do things in my real life but also also to figure out if this is what i wanted to continue to do um it was a lot it was a lot and it wasn't until like i've been i'm i'm close friends with gail and i've been talking to her ever since i left impact the first time um so we've been talking and um I was, I originally didn't want to sign anywhere. I didn't want to do TV. I just didn't want to, I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but Gail was putting over the company, putting over the talent, even Scott, like putting over everything. And it's like, with Gail being in the position in, in Impact um, as like the the head of the women's division, it's like, I I have no question no second guesses no hesitation that if if i were to go to impact under gail's leadership like everything's going to be fine like there's no drama i didn't want to deal with drama politics like i just i i i just wanted to if i was going to wrestle i just wanted to wrestle and hang out with my friends 